Hey there, Captain Crunch again, coming to you with a simple hack that I use to keep these butane canisters running in cold weather. What I've got is a copper strip attached to one of the, uh, what are these, the 100 gram isopro container using a silicone bracelet that a lot of people have, kids have them. Uh, not the rubber ones, they'll melt, this is the silicone kind. And it's got a, uh, just holding a simple piece of copper up against the side of the canister. What this does is when you have your burner attached to the top, before you light it, you kind of bend this into the flame where the flame would be, warm it up in your hands a little bit, uh, vaporize some of the gas, light it, and then the flame will heat this metal up. The heat will travel down and keep the canister warm in cold weather below freezing. A lot of people complain about these canisters not working very well in the winter uh, because they don't. Below freezing, uh, the canister will continue to get colder and generally, unless it's a, a good mix with a lot of propane in it, the butane doesn't really like to vaporize and you get a teeny weeny weak little flame that's really not that good. So what this is, is just a basic uh, chunk of copper flashing, roof flashing I got at a hardware store. It's a little too thick to cut with scissors. I used some tin snips, made a simple, nice bendy shape, and it uh, slides right in. It'll keep your canister warm. Some people put it in a tray of water uh, and pour warm water if you have warm water in there to vaporize the, the fluid. Some people sleep with these at night and they wake up in the morning and it's already warm from being in the sleeping bag. You can use it for a while, but like most gases when they expand they continue to cool this down eventually it'll get to be the ambient temperature outside and stop working I have uh, another one cooking outside right now or chilling outside right now it's uh, about 17 degrees out there and I'll show you uh, what the gas doesn't do uh, before you preheat it and see how poorly it works and then I'll add uh, this onto the system and you can see uh, the difference this has been sitting out here all day, uh, just sitting out next to my gas grill. It's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and we'll see how good it burns just on its own. It's all the way open, and I don't even hear gas coming out. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Let me grab it with my hand. Can get a little bit to come out. Take my hand off of that. And you will get a little heat that leaks down the stem. So this is wide open, full bore. And it, uh, that's pretty crappy. There it goes, it's starting to cool down and die again. Let's close that up. rubber strip to it and see how that goes all right here it is again with the strip installed and I'll get it rolling I had to handle the canister so it was a little bit warm uh, from touching it which is good that's what you usually do you handle the canister get it warm enough to start and then you'll see in a couple seconds this flame uh, come to life and make the normal stove noises that we're all used to hearing. There it goes, you can start hearing it start to wake up.
East Pole bore. Windy, 20 degrees. And got a refilled butane, pure butane canister, screaming to life after just a couple of minutes. And you got full control. Which is really awesome in the winter. So there you have it. It is the bracelet copper strip hack. There's a couple of threads on white blaze that talk about doing this. I'll list them down below in case people are interested about the pros and cons of doing this. I happen to like it. It's pretty cool.